if you cannot boldly attest to what you have you are not qualified to function in it the bible says jesus knowing he came from god it is foolishness to know you came from god and keep quiet yes, to tell your generation i'm anointed is not pride it's truth you are speaking that which is say so knowing he came from god knowing that the father had given all things to him and knowing that he was going back to god so when he came to the temple and spoke from this scripture and he said the spirit of the lord is upon me guess who kicked him out religious people so you know even though you're anointed you should not say it are you seeing strategies to shut you down so how do you expect that believer to talk about jesus in his office you know it's, it's pride for you to have anointing and what you want to do you want to show us the brothers of joseph and so guess what there's now a wisdom flowing in this generation it looks like the wisdom of god but i can tell you it is of this world let the weak say what did he say let the weak keep the secret so guess what your generation will tell you there are some things that's happening around your life you don't need to say it until when it happens you will think it's a wisdom from god they are slowly teaching you to keep what the Lord has said to you in the secret to yourself. Meanwhile, I said that which I say to you in the ear, declare it on the mountain top, declare it on the rooftop. A quiet generation is a dying generation. Satan doesn't want to stop you from going to church. He wants to stop you from speaking in that name. Yes, sir. He said that they no more speak. Yes, that's what he said. After your speaking capacity, speaking capacity. The disciples betted revival because they were all speaking. A brother came and told, a brother in Nigeria, he came and told his fellow ministers in his territory. He said, God told me he has given me the gate of this city, of this territory. They said, oh, pride, pride, reduce it. They said, oh, pride, 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 pride. <laughs> if God has given you, why are you telling us? He said that you will not stand in God's way. Are you divided from Christ? We are one with him in spirit. So whatever his reality is, that's what I am. Are we together? The Bible says it. He said, as he is where? In heaven. So are we in this world. I am a priest. Oh, a king. In this kingdom of kings and priests. I am a priest. And a king. I have the spirit of Christ in me. I am a king and a priest in this kingdom of kings and priests. Ha! I am a king and a priest. I have the spirit of Christ in me. I have the spirit of Christ in me. I have the spirit of Christ in me. Ha! I have the spirit of Christ in me. I have the spirit. Sit down. Let's not go there before I fly. If you are not talking to yourselves, you will watch your Christian life die. If you stay with me, I'm like a madman. David spoke to his soul. He said, my soul, why are you downcast? I'm a priest. Have the spirit of Christ in me. You have the spirit of Christ in you. I have the spirit. You should be proud to say it. You have the spirit of Christ in you. You know what Satan does? He says, ah, you that is weak. That's why Jesus came. He said, for this cause, the son of... You don't know what you are. Was what? Made. Has he manifested to you? Yes, through the gospel. That he may what? Destroy. So it means if you've received Christ, even though now you may be struggling, you may, if you had not received him, you would have been worse than what you are. So guess what? Every day, the works of the devil is being destroyed. Whether you know it or not. The fact that you are in church today means the works of Satan is being destroyed. I have the spirit of Christ in me. I have. I say you have the spirit of Christ in you. Spirit of Christ. Listen. You don't know how heaven rejoices. That after many thousand years of Jesus' manifestation on earth, we are still singing his name. Now let's go into deep things. I am a priest and a king in this kingdom of kings and priests. It's my very good friend, Minister Moses Akon, that wrote this song. When I heard it, 
I say yes. We know songs that are picked from the throne. It will reveal the splendor of Christ. And the king. In this kingdom of kings and priests. I, not on that person, me. You better love me. I have the spirit of Christ. Oh, oh my God. It's not I will have. I want now. Yeah. But are you not the one that is still struggling with lying for this purpose? The son of man was what? Sometimes when you fall, we say these things that you may not fall, but when you fall, say to yourself, for this cause. This was who I, I was worse than this before Jesus met me for this cause. The Son of God was made manifest. That even this one is the works of Satan, and it will be swallowed up in victory. Oh, yeah. You see, why it sounds strange in the ears of Christian is because they don't know how to live the dominion life anymore. Yes. So they feel when you are Christian is when you fall, you are lying down. Hey, God help me, and then you tell your brethren, and your brethren are looking at you and look at your life. We told you we are used to defeat. We worship defeat in the church of Africa. So when a Christian is blessed, you say, no, he put his hand in something. We don't believe God can lift us. You don't believe a Christian can live a righteous life. So people let me come out and say, apart from my wife, there's no girl in this planet. I'm talking to them. And I saw that they talk. I saw that they talk. Horadonai, <laughs> father of light, illuminate me. Illuminate me. Horadonai, Spirit of light, illuminate, illuminate, Holy Ghost, illuminate, 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 illuminate. The intensity, I can't even preach. I'm struggling for the job for us. <laughs> I told them I'm not a carpenter. From light I came. And to light I will return. Holy Ghost illuminate me. Illuminate me. Illuminate me. Illuminate me. Illuminate me. The Lord has sent me to tell you some things that, see, when you go back home, you will now discover that you've been living below your means. The problem is that it's not that you don't have a past, it's not a pastor problem, it's a revelation problem. The Lord told me one day, say, Satan, if he cannot stop your light, he will stop that light from ascending. Are we together? Light on the ground is meaningless. So even in nature, anything that shines is up. Do you understand? So when he says, let your light so shine, he's indirectly telling you, you'll be the head. You'll be on top. You don't shine from the ground. A mountain set upon the hill cannot be hidden. When the Lord told me, we were in prayers in Abuja, the Lord told me, He said, Look at my people on the ground. So you will take the light and set and we put on that bush. So your landlord is a Muslim. Oh, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Ah. Righteous man, but he's the great man. He's a holy man, but he's the one worshiping blade. Light without height is as good as darkness. Because light becomes meaningful when it is properly positioned. Do you know what will happen if someone like you have two billion? <laughs> so, Satan will allow you to have your good heart, but you will not have money to manifest it. I have good heart. I have good heart. Having good heart is not giving. The one who has given is the one that gives. It's not the one that oh, I have good heart. So that's what Satan does with capacity talk. He, he allows your light, but he resists your height. May we not be resisted anymore. He what? allows your light but what he resists your height so guess what the church knows worship fellowship impartation but we don't know dominion but we are taking it back again i saw a servant of god went to uk did a program recently a stadium packed i said this is what dominion looks like listen we are back in stadium it may not totally mean the place is revived, but it means the place is being revived. Yes, sir. We're in the progress, pro process already. Yes, That's why I said something. Some people misunderstood what I said. That. I said, Lord, look at this. But see, as we're invading, may God help us to discern. Yes, if you know the power of the end time church, you will know that what you see a man of God doing in a country, or in a city, or in a territory, 
is actually a possibility that has been opened to the body so if one in the body can do it we all can do it do you understand what i'm saying recently sir the lord taught me what it means for first to be last and last to be first i did not understand it before i would like to you. he said the last shall become first and the first shall become last do you know what we interpreted it to mean we mean the person at the back today will be in the front and the person in the front will be brought to the back that's a lie you have to look at the context within which he used that parable he spoke that parable and for the first time he told me that what that parable means is that the last will be as the first the first will be as the last it is oneness so if you've entered it you've entered it for us you don't understand what i'm saying all of them received one payment it is oneness you are fighting the battle so that we will not fight tomorrow your victory is not your victory it's our when we understand it if this brother is contesting tomorrow we will support him why your victory is our victory someone clap for the lord clap for the lord. only the spirit of god can teach you the bible i said i say god who tells you that god will put someone in front and bring that person back no sir in the context we think with that scripture was spoken is one say we came since morning we've been laboring the others just came yet we are paying us the same he said what we agree at, uh, you know that this is the amount we are going to take can i not do what i want with my money that's grace so it means when we come into the vineyard of the lord all our achievement is one glory one glory so from the light of this understanding you will now discover that if a possibility opened to a brother around you it means that possibility is available to you so since scripture say with joy shall ye draw water out of what the wells of salvation not the wells of your salvation not the wells in your salvation the wells of salvation whether in you whether in your brother as long as it is the well of salvation when you rejoice you draw did you catch that so if god is blessing this brother when i rejoice with him i draw because what is happening with him came from the wells of salvation so using the principle of joy you will now understand how we receive impartation from one another if we understand the message of christ there will be no jealousy in the church there will be nothing like why am i not the one leading because he's leading it means i'm leading he sent my dances he sent dances that is what i bring he sent spirit he sent spirit he sent sounds to the God of all the earth. So guess what? If I've been chosen and I've been sent and I have the revelation of why I've been sent, it means the spirit given to me is so that I can accomplish what I've been sent to accomplish. So it brings us to the next and crucial point. The function of the part of Christ within the body. You are a part of Christ, you are a part of Christ, you are a part of Christ. Because we've received the Holy Spirit of God, it means there is a unique function for us in, in Christ. I know the scripture this way by the help of the Spirit because of my function in Christ. Are we together? Now, apart from the function in Christ, you have your function in kingdom advancement. When you begin to function outside the ecclesia, you are functioning as an ambassador of a kingdom. Now, it is the function in kingdom advancement that helps us to go into the understanding of dominion. Why is dominion expected of you? It is because all power has been given unto Christ. Do you believe that? And then, the Bible also told us the scope of this dominion. He said, powers in heaven, on earth, everywhere. So, if all that is power has been willed to Christ, it means that when God said in Genesis, be fruitful, he's no longer talking to man. He's talking to the man in Christ. The old Adam has lost that. Understand me? Who was he speaking to? Adam. But now we have two Adam. One of the flesh, one of the spirit. The one of the spirit has received all things by his sacrifice. So when God says be fruitful, he's not just talking to everyone. He's specifically talking to the man in Christ. So who should be fruitful? Is it the former Adam or the new man? Who should multiply? Is it the former you or the new you? The Who should have dominion? Is it the former you or the new you? The so why is someone using your dead Adam to criticize you? Are you blind to what is multiplying now? 
if you do not understand your salvation right you allow satan to use yesterday to curse you today god forbid as a ministry we are just one year and some months started from palo now we are all over the world it's an army rising yes, but by the spirit because a man found his function in christ and function in dominion This thing I'm teaching is not some hard thing. It's the thing every Christian should understand. Yes, so guess what? <laughs> Can I show you a mystery now? Yes, <laughs> when the Spirit of God came upon earth, the Spirit of God came upon earth as a partner to creation. Do you believe that? Yes, In Genesis chapter 1. God will give us our own hall so that I can have time to teach. Yes, say amen. Say amen. 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 You can't be a Christian and not love the Bible. I was in Abuja two weeks ago in the parlor. We were having a meeting with my brethren. And all of a sudden, I told them, I said, Ah, the Lord just spoke to me. He said, Go and connect to Emmanuel Irene as your friend. Now, I don't make friends anyhow. I don't. I don't have any contact with him, nothing. But see, we do not know men after the flesh. <laughs> One week later, I still came. Connect with him. I said okay and i called a friend i said ah, this is what the lord has told me he said yes i have connection to him let me call him actually when he told the man of god the man of god shouted he said two weeks ago while he was in abuja the lord told him connect with joel <laughs> you don't understand this video. we are not alone when i heard that i knew this man is in the spirit he told my friend that ah this guy is in the spirit so this morning i went to his church Honored me. Honorable man. But you know what finally gave me the confidence? Was how he hallowed the word of God. He says, I'm saying, any mature Christian will love the word of God. I brought this example because you cannot truly build a Christian without laboring intensively in the word of God. We live in a fast-paced generation. You cannot know the oracles of God in one minute YouTube video. TikTok. If one minute TikTok video is how you are knowing God, I beat it for you. Oh, this video revived me. You? The video is an invitation. If you are truly interested, you go and look for the full message. <laughs> this video has revived me. Give me two bottles of stout this time, not three. <laughs> the video revived me so much, so I will not take five bottles today. Then after two days, you say, Lord, you know we are men. <laughs> when you see those snippets, it's an invitation. Sister, I want to be strong in the Lord. It's not prayer. Well, when I say it's not prayer, it's not someone praying for you. It's you going to labor in the word and doctrine. Light is what transfer information. Do you know? I received an intelligent illumination about light. Maybe on Thursday, next week or on Sunday, I'll teach you. Do you know we can see ourselves because of light? And the fact that we can see ourselves is a form of information transfer. You can say this brother is putting in, putting on what? Green. This uncle is putting on milk. I'm putting on what I call this one brown. brown. Why light has made it manifest? Do you know? I came to that revelation. I sat down and I saw a vision of a jet, is it laser printer or something? I saw the light passed through it. Pa, pa. So I was wondering, is that God wants me to start computer business? <laughs> That's why you don't rush to give vision your interpretation. So I was looking at the light will flash. Pa, pa. And then the voice of Lord came to me. He said, Earth has learned the secret that they don't know. True information is passed across by light. 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 So if you understand light alone, you can receive information. So when I see spiritual light on people, all of a sudden I begin to notice about them. Light is that which what makes? So if you get to a crossroad in your business, in your office, and you are confused, what do you ask for? Light. Speak light upon it. Go and sleep. You will see the solution in a vision. Someone doesn't believe me. If you don't have light, you are not of Christ. Because God is what? Light. How come I'm in Abuja? Emmanuel Iren is an impactful man of God. Respected in the church of Africa and beyond. You don't just connect to those kind of people carelessly. He is of the pastoral apostolic stream 
raising power for people out of the prophetic stream. What is this connection for? When I went to his church this morning, I said, oh, I now understand. There are some people you think they are young, but they've been promoted to be gatekeepers, but you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. There are some old men that are gatekeepers, but not every old man is a gatekeeper. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Not every old man is keeping your type of gate. And guess what? If God wants to begin to expand you in a territory, he will send you to honor his men. May God give you understanding. I can say, no, no, I'm too, I'm too prophetic. I'm a prophet, you know. We are leading a new, a new generation. A new generation. A new generation in International Apostolic Church of Christ Mission, Thunderfire. And a simple instruction for your lifting, you will disobey it. No matter how casual a leading is, do it. Leadings don't make sense, they make impact. If God say we are a white shirt, but where is in this where is it in the scripture? Oga, they don't explain leading, they obey it. We are sleepers today to walk. I no, no, we cannot have, have me a swagger bubble. Okay. Your poverty has been extended. I forgot to know to make you know he led you. He spoke to there are still people that hear God, sir. We've never spoken till now on phone. Never ever. No connection whatsoever. How come two of us are receiving the same signal the same week? He's big. He don't need to say anything to impress me. He doesn't need to come and lie and say, Oh, I hey, God also told me. What does he need me for? So you know that. Ah, our movement. Do you know that as I obeyed God to move to Lagos, some pastors left our ministry. You don't know what we went to contend with in Abuja. That is why true loyalty is known in absence. Yeshua said, when the son of man shall come, shall he find what? It means faithfulness is proven when the master is not around. A man that cannot do exactly what you say when, he's, when you are not around, is not a man to allow around you. Whether he's your worker, your staff, if he cannot do exactly what you say in your absence, it's not worthy of your presence. Some say, why did I just leave without telling them? So your master take permission from you? If you are his son, would you? Is, are you not supposed to know that God is about to take your master? I told you, Abuja brethren. I said, why is it that most of you did not know? Most of you, including me, did not know that God. <laughs> but imagine that kind of thing. You are hearing it from someone who is lower in your presence. And you go and be saying that, oh, he, he planned to move, he didn't tell us. Your only strength is God, my brothers. Your only strength. Your closest friend can turn against you. Sometime, your promotion will come with a gift of pain. It's a gift. He said, by his stripes, sometimes healing is a product of pain. Even in nature, to create an antidote, you have to inject the virus. Am I correct? Yes, sir. So whilst our name was traveling all over, if you knew the battle house, the second pastoral house that brethren was staying, we didn't have enough money to pay. All the old brethren jammed in my house. Yet our name was flying everywhere. Yet I'm preaching, I'm not collecting honor honorarium because of what God has told me. He said, Joel, I want to bet the nation with you. Once they were driving me from the airport, around 11 p.m., we passed the toll gate and I saw a policeman. May you, may you hear God always. Brethren, I saw a policeman sitting with his gun. And as soon as I saw it, the word of God came to me. He said, authority and empowerment comes with a body. The gun is the policeman's power. Signet of authority and also his body. Am I correct? The uniform is the military man's power. Signet of his authority and yet his, his body. It is his body also. Your cause and your blessing. Your cause to keep you humble. Your blessing to keep you moving. So when you see a Christianity that doesn't want you to see pain, it's a Christianity that doesn't want you to be enlarged. Except a corn of wheat, what? Falls to the ground and die. Before God promotes you to that billionaire status, you will lose every investment you have. 
Because if that does not happen to you, you will carry the enemy into Canaan land. You, you will not know how you will, in humility, carry your enemy into your Canaan land. So sometimes, the fact that you are alone now is a sign that God has prepared new friends for you. Say amen. I don't know if I'm talking to someone here. I'm talking to myself. In the midst of that betrayal, that's when, when we pray, he hears our voice. When we cry, he hears my voice. We are not alone. A brother I brought from Makodi when God bless me, took care of. He left our ministry with one of our partners. He said he's wasting time with us. That I caged them. There are some battles you don't know how to cry because the person is close. And if you are not careful, that will now change your heart. It's a test. Don't stop being good, but become wiser. <laughs> become what? It's not a sin to allow people prove themselves. It's not a sin. God bless me. And I say, these are people that would have not, I'm not God. But because of where we are coming from, speaking as humans, they will not see that level of excellence in their entire life. So you can actually open the door for a person. Say, okay, go inside. Before you come, he shuts the door. Why are you looking at me as though it doesn't happen? You will bring them into the business. They will tell the partner that, Nadem Sabi, pass. that guy doesn't know what he's doing. How much will God tell you? Two million, oh God, forget that. In the light, I can do it to 1.5 million. Hi. I told my men, I said, this pain has just made me a man. It's a gift of manhood. It's a gift. A rebellious person will never say he's wrong. Because every man is right in his own eyes. When I inquire, what did I do to this brother? He said, I'm rebuking him. Are you the only one we rebuke in the ministry? Do I go around like a madman rebuking people anyhow? Will a leader not chastise you when you are wrong? If I love you, will I be looking at you when you are wrong? He said, you know, we were equal. We came here as equals. You are still with me. Even if I wear box and sit down with you, sense should tell you that we are not equal. You are the one that knows what you are thinking. You don't know what another man is thinking. <laughs> but in the midst of the battles, you see, why I'm telling you all this is because Christianity is a practical life of faith. So I'm sharing my body with you. A pastor is not a superman. He's also a Christian in faith that has been called into a function by grace. We went back to Makodi, to Abuja. Can I tell something else? Can I share? Can I be vulnerable? <laughs> we now discover that I <laughs> came We wanted to get a land. One of our close friends, the friend was close to me and Theophilus, Sunday. Our friend, we said, okay, since we want to get a ministry land, let's do it with our friend and brother. <laughs> oh, he didn't give us paper. We said, oh, he's a brother in the Lord. He was fixing everything. Oh, mele me. <laughs> After five months, we are not seeing paper. We now say, uh, brother. It's the paper of the land. The elders want to see it. He said, okay, okay, we, on Thursday. Every time on Thursday, we send it. He now sent the paper. I now forwarded it to Elisha. I said, okay, send it to honorable social person. Let him check. They said, that paper doesn't exist. What God cannot do, doesn't exist. I said, what? We tried to reach brother. Number switched off. Have you ever fought 10 battles in one season? Just know that the rest that is coming will last generations. If you read Job casually, you don't know what it means to enter a problem that you will look guilty yet you are innocent. Yes. Mary had an encounter, pregnancy she could not explain came. Elisha, my son, was driving. Because I've been trying to reach him. So the Holy Ghost told him, go to this restaurant. He has gone. So he drove to the restaurant. And this man that we thought traveled out was there swallowing food. He now walked up to him and told him that the prophet feels betrayed because he trusted you with his church as his friend. 
it was bad. It's okay. This Thursday, everything will be alright. We say, okay, we don't want the land again. Just give us our money. That's why we stopped talking about our land. My fear, the elders knew, but my fear was that how will I tell the church? This is the first, even Abuja brethren don't know. It's okay on Thursday. We are still waiting for the Thursday. This was, is it last week or last week? Last week. If we involve certain things now and we bring in those, oh, pastor, he's using police. God should help us. Yes, guess what? In the same season, your name is traveling everywhere. Why am I citing these examples? Empowerment is a blessing that comes with a burden. He said, cast your burden upon me and then take my what? <laughs> you must, your freedom is a yoke. That's your freedom. But guess what? In that same season that you thought you were losing, God is just emptying you to expand you for a better infinite. 